Hello Explorers, I'm Mark. And I'm Michelle. Welcome, Welcome to, to another, another episode, episode of Explore by YBC YBC YouTube, YouTube channel. We're here in the science city of Muñoz, located in the northern portion of the province of Nueva Ecija, to feature one of the model agritourism sites in the Philippines. Central Luzon State University or CLSU is located beside the national headquarters and gin pool of the Philippine Carabao Center. CLSU is also near the Philippine Rice Research Institute or Phil Rice and other agricultural research institutions based in the science city of Muñoz, Nueva Ecija. This more than a century old university was established in 1907. CLSU offers a diverse array of undergraduate and graduate programs. It specializes on agriculture, fisheries, veterinary medicine, biology, agricultural engineering, and teacher education. Central Luzon State University is currently the only comprehensive state university in the Philippines with the most number of accredited curricular programs. The university has been declared a cultural property of the Philippines due to its high historical, cultural, academic, and agricultural importance to the country. This is the Ramers Hall. It is the oldest structure at CLSU which was built in 1928, named after Christian Ramers, the last American superintendent of the university from 1936 to 1938. It now houses the CLSU Agricultural Museum. Students, faculty, and visitors can commune with nature at Lingap Kalikasan Park and the Zen Garden, which are the two most Instagram-worthy spots on this 658-hectare university campus. And this is the newest attraction here at Central Luzon State University called Kamali. These students are saying the tagline of Kamali, which invites everyone to find fun in agriculture and its allied fields. Kamali is an acronym for keeping a modern agricultural landscape through integrating CLSU generated technologies. This 500-meter stretch of agritourism park is divided into theme and science-based sections that showcase the different agri-fishery products and technologies of CLSU. The University's Institute for Climate Change and Environmental Management has a unit called CLSU Hydroponics and Aquaponics Technologies. This section of Kamalig model farm is named Lambat, which means fishing net. It features the breakthrough researches of CLSU in aquatic culture. In fact, Central Luzon State University is the pioneer in the sex reversal of tilapia. This section of Kamalig agritourism site is called Coral, which means pen, specifically for small ruminants because CLSU is the center of research excellence in small ruminants in the Philippines. This section showcases their facilities and the different breeds of goats, which provide better yield in terms of meat and milk. Our next stop is somewhat scary. But we're not afraid because the bees in this apiary are stingless. CLSU is currently conducting researches on stingless bee farming or apiculture. The University Research Center of CLSU tirelessly conducts intensive researches on the improvement of varieties of special purpose rice through hybridization. 
Our visit to Central Luzon State University coincided with the Research Innovation and Development Festival or Ride Fest 2022. A total of 22 in-house and external exhibitors participated in this wonderful exhibit. The College of Veterinary Science and Medicine of CLSU developed rapid test kits for African swine fever and to detect mastitis or breast infection in goats. One of the activities of the Small Ruminant Center of CLSU is dairy goat production, through which they develop and produce food products with goat's milk as the base ingredient. The center has developed goat's milk ice cream with different flavors, pasteurized goat's milk and chocolate milk. Who would have thought that tilapia or St. Peter's fish can be made into delectable ice cream and cookies without fishy smell and aftertaste? CLSU created the recipe to turn protein from tilapia into a healthier option for snacks in the form of ice cream and cookies. Sounds weird but it's really delicious. In fact, there is tilapia ice cream won the CL Innovation Gold Award in 2016 at the World Trade Center in Manila. The booth of the College of Education of CLSU showcases the unique religious festival in the town of Pernyaranda, Nueva Ecea, Philippines called Arakio. The booth of the College of Home Science and Industry showcases their different food and non-food products. CLSU has produced its own nano-enhanced ethyl alcohol in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. In this exhibit, we have also seen lovely ornamental plants. This booth showcases this multi-purpose farm vehicle which is solar-powered. This year's theme of the week-long Ride Fest is a celebration of high-impact CLSU. RideFest 2022 is a celebration of Central Luzon State University's research results and innovations generated by the CLSU faculty and staff researchers which intends to address the rapidly changing landscape in local and international research and development to improve people's lives. Indeed, Central Luzon State University maintains its strong commitment to nurture a culture of excellence in research and development and academics to become one of the globally competitive institutions of higher learning. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please join us again next time to... Explore